Hey guys, this is MacHeads101. Today I'm going to be showing you a simple trick that you can do with your web browser. It works with um, both Safari and Firefox, but I'll just be demonstrating to you in Firefox. So um, basically what this trick allows you to do is edit any web, pro web page, not permanently, but temporarily. So um, I have it copied. Um, I'm just going to paste it right here. You can find it in the description of our video. Basically, it's JavaScript colon document dot body dot edu dot content editable equals um, quote true quote semicolon space document dot design mode equals quote on quote semicolon space void zero. Basically, JavaScript means JavaScript. It's a document body, meaning the body of the the body of this web page, meaning whatever, whatever all the content is on, is editable. True means yes, it's editable. The, uh, design mode just means instead of being edit, able to edit the code, you can edit it in a graphical interface. So now if I just press enter, it'll look the same, but it's editable. So, for example, I can uh, drag the Google thing around however size I want. I can just press the delete to get rid of it. I can find some pictures from my um, computer and um, drag them in. I'm not going to be showing you that right now. You can change any text on it. So let's say instead of Mac, I'll just say uh, at Apple Steve Jobs. So now if I were to make a tutorial like this, it would look like I'm Steve Jobs and that would be pretty cool. And um, you can do this on a lot of websites, and um, this allows you to see what a website is made out of. For example, see this upload button. Well, it's actually not an upload button, it's the same thing as this YouTube button, and I'll get show you what I mean. If I paste this, uh, you'll see that the upload is text, so how did they get that? And that square gets messed up if I delete it. Well, if I click on this and I make it a little wider, You'll see that all the YouTube buttons are, uh, you'll see there's a Google Chrome sign too. So, so that way this website can be different for Google Chrome. It'll be coming out for Mac soon. Um, and all the buttons, the subscribe button, the rate buttons, the um, comment buttons, every single button is right here. So this can allow you to see how people make their websites. And if you want to access this easily, you can just drag that down. You can right click on it and then say either properties or rename depending on what browser you're in and then you can just say instead of name you can say edit this page and you can say save changes. So now I'm going to go to like apple.com say edit this page and uh, this, wait hold on, got to click on it. And you can't edit most of Apple.com because what Apple does is they make most of their thing images and their images just have whatever they want. But um, if you if before with the old iPods thing, you would see that the pieces that go over here are different. You'll see that these are all links. And um, yeah, it's just pretty cool to mess with the website. So um, um, you shouldn't mess with websites too much because... Um, Usually people work hard to make websites and so um, uh, if you mess with it then it'll probably look messed up. See as you can see uh, Apple also makes their search thing um, both if while you're clicking on it and the one for after clicking on it and after you visited it um, look all one image but they display different parts of the image at different times. And you can see this search thing is here. And yeah, so hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please subscribe and rate if you like this video and uh, comment on what you think. Have a nice day and good morning.